Hi guys, my name is Brandon and I am pleased to bring you the first video in a series of videos on Razer Nabu development. This series will be primarily for Android development, however I will be bringing you guys an iOS version later in the year. So firstly a bit about me, uh, I am a software developer from the south coast of the UK. I've been working with Razer for now for about two and a half years. Um, I don't work for them, I work with them as a software development partner. Uh, I started off in 2012 with uh, starting work on the Switchblade UI uh, platform. Uh, I was making apps and developer utilities and developer frameworks. And then in 2013, 2014, I moved over to start work on the Razer Nabu platform. So what is Razer Nabu? Razer Nabu is a smart band, as you can see here. Um, it's, a, it's a silicon band um, with a uh, OLED screen up here and a single, single button. Um, it can relay fitness data and it also has some really cool interactivity features uh, which I'll cover later in the series um, but they, they allow communication of data between the bands which is really cool. So in this video I'm just going to do a quick get started. So how do we get the SDK uh, onto our machines? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a, a new uh, web browser. I'm just going to bring up Firefox here. And drag that over to this screen. Uh, and I am going to go to developer.razorzone.com. And this is the Razor development portal. So everything that you want to do with Razor development, whether that be Switchblade UI, uh, comms, surround, which I know are coming soon, and also Nabu, you can just click on the um, the uh, Nabu dev portal right here. So let's go in here. So firstly, you've got a big reminder up here about the Nabu apps reward scheme. So you can get rewarded with up to $200 worth of Razer Zone vouchers with every app that you develop for Razer Nabu, which is really cool uh, and, and a nice uh, reward for making your apps there. So what I'm going to be discussing today is just getting started with the SDK. So I'm going to go to the uh, downloads page and here you can see you've got the download Nabu open SDK for Android and also the iOS side over here. There is some overlap between the SDKs so if you are watching and you are an iOS developer keep watching because you might be able to get a sense of how to do something in the iOS SDK from what I'm going to talk through uh, in this series for Android. So firstly, I'm going to go, go ahead and click download Nabu SDK for Android, and that's just the zip package. So I'm just going to save that and let that save. Uh, down here, you have three apps. You have the Nabu Utility app, uh, the Nabu Fitness app, and you also have the Nabu Generator app. Uh, the Nabu Utility app you must have installed for working with uh, the Nabu SDK on your iOS or Android device. The utility is what allows the communication between the band and your phone. Nabu Fitness is a fitness application uh, that uh, Razer has, has built already. And then Nabu uh, Generator is a developer only app and it allows you to generate some data from the SDK um, and the backend API uh, so that you have some data to work with immediately, which is really nice. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna bring up a um, oh, that is my Chrome window. Let's just bring that over there. And I'm going to bring up IntelliJ, which is my Java um, IDE of choice. So I'm just going to let that boot up a second. All right. Uh, so in IntelliJ is all open up now. So what I'm going to do is right click on the project uh, top left and I'm going to go down to open module settings. I'm then going to navigate to the libraries, uh, which you can see here, and I'm going to click the plus and click Java. Uh, I'm then going to go to my desktop. Uh, so let's just go there. Nope. Let's not go to my desktop then. Let's go to desktop there. 
and let's open that up and we're going to expand uh, Nabu Open SDK version 0.14.3 and then go into that folder and here are all those libraries that um, I showed you earlier. So let's click OK on that. And then it says library Android support version 4 will be added to the selected modules. Let that happen. That's fine. So click OK. And then we're going to click apply and OK once more. So it's that easy. Your Nabu SDK is now in your application. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Nabu um, SDK object. So I'm going to type uh, Nabu open SDK. Nabu open SDK equals Nabu open SDK get context. Yes. So on the Nabu open SDK class, there is a singleton uh, instance, and this allows you to, to get the instance, um, and we can assign it so that we can use it locally. Um, so we can now use that locally. We've set up the Nabu Open SDK within the application and it didn't take very long at all. This is the end of the first video. It might seem like a short video, but I just wanted to give an introduction into how to get started with, uh, open, uh, with the Nabu Open SDK. I will be making more videos. The next one will be about getting started with authenticating your app with the Nabu Open SDK. And getting that uh, worked up with your uh, Nabu utility on your phone as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below of the video. Let me know if you like the setup uh, with the webcam. Uh, let me know if I was going too fast, too slow, and what we can do to improve. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.